Hello, and welcome back to Storyline Recapped. Today, I am going to explain a mystery drama movie from 2009 called, The Box. Spoilers ahead, watch out and enjoy. The film then opens up in 1976 with Norma and Arthur Lewis nestling in bed and arising at 5.45 am as the doorbell rings. After opening the entryway, she sees a bundle close to home. Inside, she and her significant other find a wooden box and a note, understanding Mr. Stewart will come at 5 p.m. Arthur goes to work at NASA, where he works in optics and aided in planning the camera on the Viking Mars test. He finds he has been dismissed from the space traveler program because of the way that he bombed the mental test. Norma goes to her occupation as an educator at a tip-top tuition-based school showing writing, where they are examining Sartre's vision of hell. One of her understudies comments on her limp, after which she shows her class her distorted right foot, missing four toes. After class Norma is educated by her supervisor that she will never again be getting a rebate for educational costs and will not have the option to pay for school for her child. Sometime thereafter Norma gets back and Arlington Steward shows up at their entryway. A big part of his face is absent. That's what Arlington says assuming she or her better half presses the button, somebody on the planet that they don't realize will bite the dust, and they will get 1 million bucks. Arlington leaves and tells her she has 24 hours. Arthur returns and Norma lets him know what has occurred. After many conversations about whether they ought to press the button, and some dabbling with the container, Norma out of nowhere jolts forward and hits it. Arlington returns and presents Norma and Arthur with a million, without finding out if they squeeze the button or not. He illuminates that they won't realize who will get the proposal next, and suggests that Arthur, Norma, or their child will be the ones to bite the dust. Arthur storms after Arlington and endeavors to return the million, however, Arlington drives off. An emergency call is shown, where somebody has been shot. The police go into the house and find a lady shot through the heart, and a young lady secured in the washroom higher up. Arthur and Norma then, at that point, go to a wedding practice supper, where Arthur is told to choose a present from a table. Arthur then sees a crate similar to the one remaining close to home, with the button in it. This time, there was a photo of Arlington inside. Norma's sister lets Arthur know that the understudy Arthur saw was the person who ridiculed his better half's foot. Arthur meets and requests that Norma's father run the tag number of Arlington's vehicle. Norma gets a call. It is Arlington, who reprimands her for permitting her better half to connect with the police. Arthur indignantly moves toward the understudy from Norma's group and hollers at him for ridiculing Norma. As they start their vehicle, they see no exit composed into the ice on their windshield. At the point when they return home, Arthur takes their sitter, Dana, home. Dana had before gone down into the cellar with their child Walter, to see Arthur's Mars assortment. She sees the image of every individual who chipped away at the advancement of the camera. As they are driving, Dana acts oddly, posing Arthur bizarre inquiries, for example, what's irritating you? Her nose starts to drain and she drops. Arthur endeavors to awaken her and finds her driver's permit, which shows her name isn't Dana, yet Sarah, she tells Arthur it's undependable for him there and to thoroughly search in the mirror since that is the main spot with a response. She contacts her room, where she has a huge guide and pictures of Arthur, Norma, and Walter. At home, Arthur takes a gander at the huge picture in the storm cellar and sees that Arlington is in the photograph. At a general store, Norma is moved by a terrified lady who advises her to look into a specific call number in the library, before dropping with a horrendous nose. Arthur figures out that Arlington's tag is enlisted to the NSA. He inquires as to whether he can go with him to see the house where the shooting referenced before occurred. When there, he finds pictures of Arlington and an image of a human resources book, and a library call number. Arthur discovers that the lady was taken shots at 4.45 pm, a similar time Norma pressed the button. Norma and Arthur both visit the library, independently. Norma dodges Arthur, as trained by the lady in the grocery store. Norma finds a film reel, which shows Arlington before his deformation. Arthur is trailed by a horde of surprised-looking individuals. He ends up in an enormous lobby loaded up with additional frightened-looking individuals. He moves toward a lady he learns is Arlington's significant other, and she advises him to follow her. He is given three doors, made of drifting water. Two lead to timeless punishment, one to salvation. Recollecting the understudy who held up two fingers, Arthur picks entryway two. He enters the water and winds up spinning through whiteness. Norma is likewise driven by two empty-looking ladies to Arlington. He asks her how she felt when she saw his distortion, and she says she felt love, due to her foot. Norma starts to cry and Arlington grasps her hand. Norma is abruptly lying on her bed, 
with Arthur suspended over her in the equivalent drifting water he ventured into before. While tidying up, Walter requests to know what is happening. Norma and Arthur don't respond to him. More show happens and in the end, at the wedding of Norma's sister, their child Walter is abducted. Arthur is removed by a firearm carrying the previous worker of NASA. He uncovers to Arthur that he needed to pick either his better half or his little girl. He shows Arthur the book seen before in the image, they are then come by a man in a Santa Claus uniform, ringing a bell. They are hit by a huge truck. We then see Arthur rise out of a NASA distribution center, which has been encircled by the military. He is removed and told by his NASA companion that all that occurs next will have incredible consequences. Arthur and Norma get back and see Arlington in their kitchen. He illuminates them they face two last choices. Their child, Walter, is presently hard of hearing and visually impaired. They can either reside on with their million bucks, and their debilitated child, or Arthur can shoot Norma through the heart, so, all in all, Walter's sight and hearing will be re-established and the million will be put in an exorbitant premium ledger for Walter to be held in trust until his 18th birthday celebration. We learned before in a stockroom brimming with surprised individuals, when Arlington's crony addressed him, that Arlington's bosses are trying humankind to check whether they are valuable. Arlington leaves, telling Norma and Arthur that their child is in the restroom, locked higher up. Both of them run higher up and attempt to get him out, yet can't because he can't hear them beating on the entryway. They conclude that they should pursue a decision, and Norma drives Arthur's ground floor. Another couple is finding a spot at a table with a crate unit, gazing at it with hatred, puzzling over whether they ought to push it. The spouse presses the button. Arthur and Norma are crying and embracing one another, and bid farewell. Arthur shoots Norma, and the police show up. He runs higher up and sees his child has returned to the ordinary. It is suggested that this cycle will continue forever. Arthur's child peers down at Arthur leaving in that dark vehicle. Arlington then emerges from the place of the other couple to whom he had given the $1 million, and the film closes. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and hit the like button to help the channel out. See ya!